This lesson is trigonometric identities. This is 5.1, part one from your book. Uh, last semester, we learned about the reciprocal identity. So I'm going to go through those really quickly. Sine of theta is equal to 1 over cosecant theta, which means cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. Cosine theta is equal to 1 over secant theta, which means that secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. Tangent theta equals 1 over cotangent theta, and that means cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta. You guys should know this all from last semester. Uh, as well as the quotient identities, we have tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. And that means because cotangent is a reciprocal of tangent, that cotangent theta equals cosine over sine. On the unit circle, as we learned before, the unit circle is a circle with a radius of 1. We have cosine of theta equal to our x. So if we had a theta here, drops down, we get this value x if we took cosine of that theta. And sine of theta, if we took sine of this theta, we would get this value, which is our y. So let's think about Pythagorean theorem for a second. If we have a triangle, it is a right triangle, and we have a side a, a side b, and a side c, we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, if we look at the unit circle and try to get this triangle, if we treat this like a theta, then our unit circle, our c, is 1. Our a, we said, is x, which is equal to cosine of theta. And our b is equal to y, which is equal to sine of theta. So if we plug some of that stuff in here, we would get x squared plus y squared equals 1 one, because one squared is just one, or cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. So that's your first very important identity to remember, and you can always derive it if you remember that cosine theta equals x, sine of theta equals y. So we have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. Cosine squared theta, this is the same as cosine, oops, sorry, cosine theta squared. It's just written like that, where we have cosine and a 2 and then theta. So that's the Pythagorean identity and that's one of the three Pythagorean identities that we can derive. So we really only need to know this one, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1 and we can derive the other two if we divide by cosine squared theta or this should say sine squared theta. So let's divide this one by cosine and see what we get. If we divide everything in here by cosine squared, excuse me, then we're going to end up with 1, because cosine squared over cosine squared equals 1, and we have sine squared over cosine squared, which equals tangent squared, and then we have 1 over cosine squared, which is the same as secant squared. So that's our first, or that's our second identity. Now we divided that one by cosine. Let's divide this one by sine everywhere and see what we get. So cosine over sine, if we look back up here, we remember cosine over sine is cotangent. So we have cosine squared over sine squared, so we get cotangent squared, plus sine over sine is just 1, and 1 over sine squared is cosecant squared. So those are your, your identities right there. We have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. That's a super important one that will help you derive the other ones. Then we get tangent squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta and cotangent squared theta plus 1 equals cosecant squared theta. So let's do an example. We're asked to simplify this expression. We have cosecant x times cotangent squared x plus 1 over sine x. So first what we can do is we can implement the reciprocal identity that we learned. For this 1 over sine x, we can change that to just be cosecant x. So this equation is written as cosecant x times cotangent squared x plus cosecant x. We just changed this into that, right? Then what we can do is the Pythagorean identity. We have this cotangent squared x. We can rewrite that as cosecant squared x minus 1, if we rewrite that identity. And then let's bring down everything else we had, cosecant x. So now we had, instead of cotangent squared x, we have cosecant squared x minus 1, and plus cosecant x. Now, if we multiply that out, we get cosecant cubed x minus cosecant x plus cosecant x. This and this will cancel out, so you have your answer as cosecant cubed x. 
And that is how we do Pythagorean identities and some of our reciprocal and quotient identities.